Okay, so I thought I'd make a video now, as I am now six weeks post-op periareola surgery with Andrew Yelland in Brighton. I've been back at work for two days now, so I thought I'd talk a bit about that, um, how I'm feeling now, and the fantastic fact that the last bit of scabby dead nippleness has just come off. It's been trying to make its way off for about a week, and it's finally just had enough. I can now get an idea of what my chest is looking like without being embarrassed by this black dead scab on it. I suppose get the boring work bit out of the way first. Um, I've been back for two days, it's been a bit of a shambles because they don't know what to do with me in terms of like fitness and return to work stuff. But like physically and mentally it's been alright for me. I know some people really struggle with it. But for me, it's been quite nice to be back at work, like not just sitting in this flat. And I haven't really had to deal with being tired or anything like that, or any pain. Whether that's because I'm younger, whether that's because I had Perry, or whether it was just luck of the draw, I don't know. I've been really fortunate throughout my whole kind of recovery that I haven't been in much pain. I haven't really struggled with being back at work. The first day I was sat in the office, so I didn't really do anything challenging anyway but today I've been like moving quite heavy bags around probably being more physical than I have been in possibly the entire time I've worked there it's thrown me in at the deep end but I felt perfectly fine doing that it's nice to know that I can do it and it's nice to do that when I'm not wearing a binder which is the other thing I've done today which is I took a like an envelope of five binders um, and posted them off to the morph binder scheme so if anyone is small and can't afford their own binder, then check out the Morph Scheme in the next couple of months when my binders like get there. Um, and if you've got any spare binders lying around, then send them off there. They like about three binders or binders for the cost of postage and packaging, which is like three quid or something. Some of mine are a bit battered and broken, but I'd rather someone else gets the use out of them if they possibly can, rather than just sitting here and doing nothing. But it is really weird to think that I don't have any binders anymore and I don't need any binders anymore, like, ever. It hasn't quite sunk in yet that I'm free from all of that. Like, doing things like cycling to work and not feeling the pressure against me is really strange. And I come home today and my girlfriend made a joke about, oh, have you took your binder off yet? And it's just really weird to think that I never have to think about those things again. Yeah, that was why I had surgery and... It is so strange to actually be at this point where I don't have to think about it. You know, binders have been such a big part of me for oh, about a year, two years, you know, on and off for four years. And they've caused me a lot of grief, but they've, you know, they were what I needed. But now I just, I never have to think about it again. And when something's been a constant in your life for that long, it's really strange to let it go. I'm not saying I miss wearing them, but it is something that you've got to get your head around. Right, so I'll stop rambling and um, show you my chest, which I'm feeling a lot happier about now that the scab is gone, even though, yeah, it still is the fact that I've lost nipple. I haven't really seen it without the nipple scab on, because that literally just fell off a couple of minutes before I made this video, so it's a bit like a reveal for me as well. I definitely feel a lot happier now it hasn't just got a black lump. There's still like no swelling. Um, when I look down it kind of looks like there is some swelling but I think that's just my body because <laughs> um, I'm not used to knowing what the shape of it like here is so that's something that I've got to get my head round um, and it is making me feel more dysphoric about my body shape because you can like, you can see that I have hips whereas before I didn't ever look at my body so that's something I'm hoping to work on not like a New Year's resolution, but just like a life a thing that I think is something that everyone wants to do, isn't it? Get a body that they're happier with. And whether I'll take the plunge and go for a gym or not, I don't know. I can go swimming. Yeah, I, I, I could. I could go swimming. Maybe not yet, but that's weird to think that that's something I could do. I, I last went swimming in 2012. Yeah, that's, that's weird to think. But anyway, yeah, back to my chest. This is my chest. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Um, if I tense, you can see there's a bit of a dent here, and a little bit there. But I think in time it'll settle down and that'll go. 
and I'm not really concerned about it. Obviously my nipple isn't really a nipple on this side, it's largely scar tissue I think, but this side is great. Um, I'm just not too bothered about it. I mean, there's things I can do in the future to sort it out if I get bothered. This is my better nipple. There's a little bit of like, puckering still around here, but that will settle down. Um, there's some scar tissue here and a little bit at the top, but I'm not too concerned about it. It is fading, particularly in the cold. In the cold, it's basically skin colour, so I'm not that bothered about it. Um, and this is the other side of which the scab has just come off. Um, the scab was like sitting on this bit here, which is like still scabby, but not. Well, it wasn't a scab; it was dead tissue, I think. And this bit here at the top is um, the areola, which is still there. So it might not be perfect, but I'm really pleased with it, and I cannot think about it. And it's just great to be able to relax and not have to bind. I don't think they're particularly low down. Like if you measure them, they are 18 centimeters where if you work out what my chest should be um, there's a formula based on like the golden rule um, and ratios and stuff my chest should be no more than my nipple should be no more than 15 centimeters from this point which puts them about here which perhaps would look a little bit more natural but some people can have lower nipples and I I've seen lower on cis people and trans people so I'm not I'm not concerned about it got to mention at work about work was other people's reactions to me being off sick or coming back and noticing that I haven't been around for a while um, the majority of people haven't noticed that I've been gone possibly because I move around quite a bit anyway a couple of people have just said to them oh, I've just come back after being sick for six weeks and they haven't asked why I've been sick one person did ask I said I had surgery. Um, when he asked what I had surgery for, I just kind of said, "Oh, nothing important." Um, I think he thinks I had surgery on my dick. He kept kind of looking in his crotch area. I don't think anyone's really going to get too nosy about it. They all think I'm a bit weird anyway, so probably won't think anything of me keeping it quiet. So that's all for now. If anyone has any questions they want to ask me, then go ahead. I'm always really happy to talk about my surgery. So if anyone has any questions or whatever, then feel free to ask. Um, I know there's not that many results out there of Yellen's peri work, or really peri in general, because there's so few people who are able to have it. So, like, questions or whatever, then feel free to ask me. Yeah, so that's it for now. I'll make a tea update, like, in a couple of days' time. Um, but for now, I think that's it.